Sard's theorem, also known as Sard's lemma or the Morse Sard theorem, is a result in mathematical analysis that asserts that the set of critical values, that is, the image of the set of critical points of a smooth function f from one Euclidean space or manifold to another is a null set, i.e., it has Lebesgue measure zero. This makes the set of critical values small in the sense of a generic property. The theorem is named for Anthony Morse and Arthur Sard. Topic statement more explicitly Sternberg 1964 theorem 2.3.1 Sard 1942 let f rnrm colon mathbound r caret n right arrow mathbound r caret m b c k display style c caret k that is k display style k times continuously differentiable where k max n minus m plus 1 1 display style k geq max n m plus 1 1 let x display style x denote the critical set of f display style f which is the set of points x element of r and display style x in mathbound r caret n at which the jacobian matrix of f display style f has rank min m n display style then the image f x display style f x has lebesgue measure 0 in r m Display style mathbound r caret m. Intuitively speaking, this means that although x display style x may be large, its image must be small in the sense of Lebesgue measure. While f display style f may have many critical points in the domain r n display style mathbound r caret n. It must have few critical values in the image R M display style mathbound R caret M. More generally, the result also holds for mappings between second countable differentiable manifolds M display style M and N display style N are dimensions M display style M and n display style n respectively the critical set x display style x of a c k display style c caret k function f n m display style f n right arrow m consists of those points at which the differential d f t n t m display style d f t n right arrow trademark has rank less than m display style m as a linear transformation if k max n minus M plus one one display style k geq max and m plus one one. Then Sard's theorem asserts that the image of x display style x has measure zero as a subset of m display style m. This formulation of the result follows from the version for Euclidean spaces by taking a countable set of coordinate patches. The conclusion of the theorem is a local statement, since a countable union of sets of measure zero is a set of measure zero, and the property of a subset of a coordinate patch having zero measure is invariant under diffeomorphism. Variants <inaudible> 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 There are many variants of this lemma, which plays a basic role in singularity theory among other fields. The case M equals one display style M equals one was proven by Anthony P. Morse in 1939, Morse 1939, and the general case by Arthur Sard in 1942, Sard 1942. A version for infinite dimensional Banach manifolds was proven by Stephen Smale, Smale 1965. The statement is quite powerful and the proof involves analysis. In topology it is often quoted as in the Brouwer fixed point theorem and some applications in Morse theory 
in order to prove the weaker corollary that a non-constant smooth map has at least one regular value. In 1965 Saad further generalized his theorem to state that if f n m is c k display style c caret k for k max n minus m plus 1 1 display style k geq max n m plus 1 1 and if a r n display style a underscore r subset n is the set of points x element of n display style x in n such that d f x display style d f underscore x has rank strictly less than r display style r then the r dimensional hausdorff measure of f a R display style f a underscore r is zero. In particular, the Hausdorff dimension of f a r display style f a underscore r is at most r. Caveat: the Hausdorff dimension of f a r display style f a underscore r can be arbitrarily close to R. Topic. See also Generic property